Today, my friend and fellow YouTuber has asked me to completely rebuild their game. They have this called B Tower Tycoon. They want the same game, but on an island setup. So it's not just this flat land that uh, kind of matches every other one of these tycoon games. All right, I made a hexagon, which is just a cylinder and then turning the sides down. And then I made this honeycomb. So there's first two assets. I'm actually gonna go through right now and write down all the assets I need. So all of them will be built before we even hop into studio. We finished all of the assets. We have two different leaderboards, a bunch of different shapes and sizes of honeycombs because we're gonna need those. We have two bees nest. One is put together, one is split. We have this little bee, uh, I don't know what it's called, but I know like you put bees in it like to rehome them. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not a bee expert, but you know, one of those. And we have a chest and this guy right here, which I'm gonna make look like a drop of honey with some cool, uh, you know, some cool stuff. All right, some cool stuff. So now that we have all of these assets to work with, we can actually start doing some stuff within the game. I think layout wise, we're gonna do this and I want the lobby, let me change the name of this to uh, ground. I think that should be big enough, honestly. Also, why don't these seem like the same on all sides if they're squared in here? I'm gonna just delete all of this. Oh wait, I'm gonna keep it for size reference, but I made it in blender uh, as well. Oh my gosh, I have so many blenders. And then I made this little bridge right here as a way to connect the islands themselves to the main base. All right, I got everything good, everything in and everything ready to go. What we're gonna do is start with the bridges first as it's just a nice way to easily fill up some space. As you can see, I did make the legs very, very long and that was intentional. I'll show you guys why here in just a second. Duplicate this, drag it over and do the same exact thing. And guys, since we took the time and made the entire asset pack, it's not gonna be too hard to fill in the map. I definitely want everything to line up. So so I'm gonna take my time on this. I mean, it's already filling in pretty nicely. What I'm gonna do now is grab this part right here because uh, it's gonna be very useful here in just a second. I'm gonna do this and then skew it up. All right, we could probably just make this a square and I need to see if I still have this plugin uh, that does the cool water effect for you. Here it is, boom. It also says it's animated. I don't think it's animated. Part to water. Here we go, guys, cartoon or realistic, we want cartoon. Now we have this water, which instantly adds a nice vibe to the map and now we need to make sure everything is anchored as well because if it's not oh that is gonna cause some problems here in a bit spawn in and let's check it out all right pretty decent is the water animated though it is look at it we got animated water and then we, we have a base plate and we have to start designing uh well everything i'm gonna do the lobby first and uh i guess that'll start out with some leaderboards here we go i hate that those are so flat yeah that's not bad it says there should be three leaderboards on the middle island, perhaps covered in honey with honeycomb stacked next to it. We're going to have two of these leaderboards right here. And then the main one in the middle will be the other leaderboard. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Just like that. And here's our little leaderboard section. Now, before I get too far into this, a dummy is going to be super important for actual scaling of everything. Because if you don't, yeah, that's a little tough. That is a little tough. We're going to grab everything right here and scale it all up uniformly so it's kind of all the same that is looking pretty good nice now i want to go grab some of the honey stuff so i need to copy all of these properties and put them onto these just so they look similar there we go and it is glass at 0 0.05 transparency this could go right here this could probably go on the top oh yeah this actually is gonna look awesome i think as long as it kind of fits with the contours of the uh, of the leaderboard which i designed it to but i didn't design it like extremely well now that i'm looking at it let's see oh that looks so good yo i actually really like that i'm gonna design the whole leaderboard area real quick and then i'll be back kind of questioning myself here uh i like the neon but i also don't so i'm trying to figure out what the best option for this is i'm gonna try metal next all right guys here is the leaderboard area i think they turned out super super awesome and then
then over here we have our daily rewards chest as well as this portal which uh, I still have to figure out because there's gonna be one portal that's for the next update that'll be kind of closed off for now all right while I think of what I want to do next let's go ahead and change up this lighting because at the moment well not exactly the most pleasing to the eye let's add in some color correction like so I kind of like this skybox for this game we'll see if we keep it or not all right guys so I just added a little hover UI to the leaderboards kind of color coordinated top bees is yellow top coins is kind of the goldish sort of color that I can do and then we have obby completion which is that purple tone which is the same as this which will be the portal to the obby so we might as well kind of copy this and throw it over here let's copy the main one because it's actually big put it up here call it obby there we go and perfect so now we have these they just look pretty good I need to make the spin the wheel which I have already started and it's looking pretty good so just did these trees and uh, I think the tops are a little bit too bright as well as uh, double-sided because messed up so <laughs> we're gonna delete both of these hop back into blender real quick all right let's take them in it is indeed go time to start decorating this lobby the spin the wheel is not final but it's it's okay for now okay it's placeholder we have trees right here we have some four leaf clovers or I guess three leaf clovers awesome a little bush rocks it's good it's good to go so we are going to use a little tool that i like to call a brush tool and i guess you know because it's called brush tool and what do we want to do we do want them rotated at random we want them to be scaled at random as well probably from a 0.5 let's activate the brush that's too many so we're going to up our spacing there we go and now we're going to kind of paint around this lobby and see what we end up with if we spawn in right now it's nice like the vibes good everything's going well but it just seems a bit flat so i'm gonna add in some of these terrain pieces not filling around the border but just adding them in as little spots where we could put vegetation on top of them and everything like that i just feel like it gives a good vibe overall to the map so this will flatten into here and just adding a little bit more on top of this terrain the trees are the only thing that you don't want to usually put more than one on one of these little terrain things because it's easy to overcrowd them but but like with stuff like this oh we are chilling i think i want to add in like some little picket fences just sort of around to have more things to break up the colors and stuff on the map maybe like white oh snap white picket fences honeycomb and honey piles everything guys a bunch more detail has happened this cool tree in the middle uh i made the spin the wheel uh, or finished it at least and guys i'm really excited with how this map's turning out all we have to do now is finish the actual island itself which i have started over here we've got the rebirth shop just right there and the deposit spot right here and then we have an uh a portal here which will be for an update and then this portal which will be for the obstacle course now i'm pretty excited to finish this up so what we need to do next is add in all of the buttons that you step on and then we need to just finish decorating the plot itself and making sure we have it very organized so it's easy to copy and paste all right i've got the buttons all placed looking beautiful and fantastic all we need to do now is actually add some decorations to the uh island itself the personal island and then some sort of roof on the top of this uh the old map had a pretty cool one actually but i need to make mine hopefully even cooler and just like that guys i think i am done check it out let's uh let's actually go ahead and spawn in real quick and we're gonna spawn in and take a little stroll around the map and you guys gotta let me know what you think in the comments down below i should probably probably make all of these picket fences bigger uh yeah and that is the map guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later